this, my friends, is a man named Grizzbolt. He is maybe one of the most powerful pals in all of Pal World for reasons you might not expect. I mean, let's be honest here, his skills aren't that great, but what he is good at is breeding. One might even call him the Rizbolt. Because if you look at these family trees, he can breed into almost any one of the other most powerful pals. So my objective today is to take that fella right there and try to get him to be the super most powerful pal that I can ever imagine through breeding. And when I breed this fella, I want to give him stats like being a legend, give him plus 20 attack, and even ferocious, which is another plus 20 attack. So we're going to make its family tree very, very shallow and very, very inbred. Now, the good news is we have this paladist who has legend and ferocious, which are two of the most powerful traits in the game. Now, I thought I wanted to use the Vixie, but I'm totally not. Come on, paladist, you're going to breed with the fox barks. And it's time for our boy Shiny to come back out of the cage. And make some babies. <laughs> Just kidding though, because Paladis is a male. <laughs> so shiny. So we'll start with the Paladis is together to hopefully get something good. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tear down some of this building because frankly, everything gets stuck in here and it's really kind of annoying. Oopsies, there was a, there was a box up there. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Does that statue break too? It do. And we'll use that space to make another breeding farm. And that's beautiful. We got a nice giant shiny egg over here. What is this? A common egg? Can I can I have it, everyone? Nope. Sorry. Not enough cake. I just want to pick there we go. Yeah, a huge common egg. Now this one should create a oh well another paladus, right? And yes, I have incubation time turned off in my world setting. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to get all of those stats on it. Not gonna lie, that's almost perfect in its own way. That Celestial Emp er, Emperor is really strong, plus Ferocious and Legend, and then Runner to make it even faster. That's cool. I think the funny thing is though, it's significantly smaller than its parents because it's not an alpha. But you can go into the breeding station and we'll bring a Fox Barks along just for fun. I'll grab the 119 cakes that I've created. Give you 59 to do whatever you do with that cake. And great, another Paladus egg has been laid. They're not quite ready yet because these guys had a little head start, but let's see what this does too. Come on, give me good stats. Motivational leader, Legend of Ferocious. That's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of having the motivational leader, but that should work pretty well. Now to make this a little easier, we need to find some Fox Barks that have some decent traits. I could use Gigaspheres on them. Oopsies, <laughs> that was a legendary sphere. I'm sorry, I didn't want to. Oh, I only have. All right, we'll try mega spheres. That one's a work slave. That is not what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Here's one more egg of the Paladus. We'll see if this one did good for us. Ta-da! Legend status nimble. The limbo nimble is kind of nice because that's a speed upgrade. I also wouldn't mind building up a thingy-mabob right over here so things get a little bit faster. Yeah, you guys didn't do that. You're much better at building than I am. Give me that. Well done. So this should be a Rayhound. Rayhound we're looking for good skills on. Hopefully the lucky ferocious legend. Uh, legend and nimble. Not the greatest. I also just find a lucky. I don't even know what it is. Oh, wow. Another lucky, lucky fox barks. That's actually kind of cool. And it's another male, so we're just gonna tame this thing. Wow, you've got a lot of hit points. Could you actually have some good stats? Ah oh, dang, this would be awesome. It was like my first Lucky that I ever found is currently breeding. You know what, just get in the ball. I don't know why I'm dealing with this. I mean, I could one-shot that guy back there if I really wanted to. Nice! Wow, he's got Vanguard. Vanguard's a good one, right? Okay, Vanguard isn't the one I was hoping for. It's 10% increase to player attack. But we'll get another Paladus egg popping in like so. We'll get this thing to uh, incubate. And uh, shwala, just a Celestial Empire. That one's the worst one we've gotten so far. You're probably also wondering, why am I making these Ray, Ray, Ray Hound? It's because if I put a Moss Ando with a Ray Hound, then it gives me the Grizzbolt. So we just don't need to do too much. Okay, Legend, Capacitor. I want the Legend plus Lucky with a Ray Hound. All right, I just got another one. You could barely see it there. It actually had the stat that just magically came up. 
the last one that we need, which is muscle head. Yeah. So we need muscle head and then uh, lucky, ferocious, and legend. Those four will make the perfect attack creature. I'm kind of excited about that because um, I was kind of dreading going to find one. But now I just have to make this family tree even weirder and it should be fine. So things have changed slightly out here in the world, um, mainly because I've been AFKing and breeding eggs like crazy. Now, I want to show you something super fun. It wasn't that rock I picked up, but check out these paladuses. They're legends, they're muscle heads, ferocious, and hooligan. So their work speed really, really sucks, but I mean, they're super strong. And they're kind of slow too, but who cares? Because they have triple jump, you guys told me. My goodness, these things are cool. Look at how high it goes. <laughs> Now I've been breeding those paladuses that are super good with the fox sparks to create the ray hounds, as you've already seen. But I've been having trouble getting the proper motor ray hounds. But I haven't been having trouble with the paladuses. <laughs> Look how many I have. It's ridiculous. There's also a ton of ray hounds. So I'm gonna breed up a few of these and I'm hoping that we get the right stats on at least half of them. Because we still have to breed these ones with the Mossandas. Yeah, that's what we're getting. Like one of the four is what we need. But if we get two of the four, which we didn't there or there, actually one is better than having multiples. But for some reason, we still get garbage ones like destructive pyromaniacs, even though their parents are like perfect. Hey, that one's not bad. Woo! Lucky legend. And that's the other thing with the paladuses. They cannot get lucky because there's no way to breed up to them. There we go. Eh, that's still not good but a Musclehead Legend is pretty nice. So is Lucky and Ferocious. Too bad there was Vanguard on it. And there we go, Ferocious, Musclehead, and Lucky. So that's three of the four. Just missing that Legend, I think it was. There's the Musclehead Legend. Some of these are doing nice. That one was Lucky and Ferocious. This one is aggressive and uh, Hydromaniac. It's kind of crazy to me how the parents can be so good, but then all of a sudden, like all of the offspring are just not great. I mean, this one's mom or dad is shiny fox barks. The first shiny I ever got, I think. One of the first. Maybe you've already produced another egg. My goodness. Now, here's another problem I have. My inventory of pals is almost entirely full. So it's time to do a tad bit of condensing here. Oh, nice climb. That was fun. We have one of these two. I don't know which one to go with. They're both the same stats. Which one's higher level? They're the same. Whatever. We'll just do the first one. And I'm gonna start pushing all of these into it. I don't think I have 64 remaining, but we're gonna attempt. I don't want to put the al alphas in. Yeah, not quite. I only had 30 remaining. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> just, just hide out in there. Oh, there's a few more hiding too. So 40 of 64 remain, my goodness. But at least that gives me more room for these eggs. Now these ones should be better. We have a chance to get the perfect four out of them. I think an egg just popped up right there, didn't it? And give me something cool. Nope. It's totally not. You're a purebred Rayhound, and you still don't even give me the good stats. Hey, that one's really solid. I just need the perfect stats. That's all I need. Please, that's not the perfect ones. Ah, oh, just burns me up inside every time we get a bad one. So now it becomes kind of a chore to go through all of these eggs we just hatched and try to find the best pairs to make six breeding ones. Yeah, because those all kind of suck. And we don't need to breed these two together anymore because we have plenty of fox barks, or rayhounds, sorry. So we'll sort everything by their pal deck number. We have one page at the end that's empty. And then we have all of these, my goodness, that's three full pages. So we'll grab the ones that have like lucky, musclehead, legend, and we'll move them to the end so I can sort them better. And now let's see what we can get. So Lucky Musclehead Legend, Lucky Ferocious, that's decent. That could be a breeding pair. This one, if I can get a female with Ferocious, a Ferocious Glutton, that might be okay. So what we'll do is we'll turn these out and do a little bit of a swappy swap. No, come here. Don't get any funny ideas with that Fox Barks, buddy. And then the six of them should start creating a bunch of really good eggs, or hopefully anyway. Let's see if any of the first three have good stuff in them. Come on, please. Ooh, okay, ferocious. That's so hard. This is so hard to breed through three different trees. There's the legend. And the final one is the one I'm looking forward to, and it only has two of the four. Aww. So I'm gonna let these guys AFK for a little while longer and see if they can make any more babies. Oh no, I wasn't recording. But we got one. <laughs> we got one of the four that we needed. Woo! Oh, that means I can start work. Oh, where are they? Hey, I got a page through the mess. It was somewhere in here. 
Because that's the last one. Oh, oh, why do they all have to look the same? My goodness, I should be better keeping track of my stuff. There it is right there. Musclehead, Ferocious, Legend, and Lucky. <laughs> this is insane. 30% attack, 20% attack, 15% attack, and another 20% attack plus defense and movement speed increase. Oh my goodness. Now I lost it again. Oh no, where'd you go, friend? So that is a male, which means we have a bad male somewhere in here. Not really. All of these males are pretty good. Or here's the other thing. I could just bring like these ones back in and then start immediately going with the moss andas. Hey, you, you, I'm here, I'm here. It's time for you to make some weird little hybrid baby things. Eat. There it is. All right. So Rayhound with Moss Anda is going to create the Riz Bolt. <laughs> All right, Riz, where are you? I've lost you in the giant piles of spiky dogs. All right. We have an artisan. There was one in here. That was pretty good. There's the muscle head. Oh, but they're both males. There's a female with Swift. Is there one that just has no skills? Oh, yeah. A male with no skills. So I guess I'll just make them try to make some more babies and I might need to go find some moss andas. It's kind of annoying to do though. Unless one of these three eggs is a female with great stats. Come on, be a female with perfect stats. Nope. Last one and that's a negative two. Actually, your stats are pretty good. So I guess I'll just go find one of these dinguses. <laughs> hey bud, I'm sorry that it's come down to this. It's so abusive. Oh balls, I killed it. Are you dead? I won't make the same mistake twice. Get in the sphere. This is gonna be incredibly difficult too. A female with no stats or just a sadist. Here, you guys have one of these. You need it, I promise. You deserve that. I think we might've just got one with no stats. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the fella just blew up below me. And that's Vanguard. I might've just found two more of them. Kinda looks like eyeballs. Nice. Well, looky there, a female with no stats. That's perfect. We'll put you with this guy. It'll be fun, I promise. Kind of sometimes halfway wonder how the biology works in this game. And then I just, I just don't care anymore. Like, I don't want to think about it. Ooh, but I do want to think about that egg. Give me that. Come on, something cool. Give me something cool. <laughs> yes, another good Rayhound. That's sick. You know what I'm going to do to this guy? Because I really need space. I'm gonna double check, make sure it's the perfect one. And then we're gonna like mash all of its friends into it. Cause that doesn't get weird at all. Musclehead, legend, lucky, ferocious, right? That's the perfect stats. All right, time to add some dumb things to it. We'll start with you and you and you and you. And I renamed him to perfect Rayhound A because there's gonna be multiples. That's a two star and a three star. And I can't quite make a four star. Ah, 50 short. Oh, scratch that. <laughs> We've got him. All right. Perfect four star Greyhound. Rayhound. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be pretty powerful, but I feel like that's a colossal waste to do to that. Whatever. Wouldn't it suck too if I put it in the wrong one? But it looks right. I don't have any souls in it yet, but we could do that too. All right. You're going to come down here. We're going to put you in the box that you need to go into. And then I'm going to give you a girl of your dreams. I know it's not the same variety as you. We're going weird evolution. Well, good news, my friends. The first of the Rizbolts is here. Whoa, wouldn't it be crazy if we got this combination on literally the first attempt? Huge electric egg. Show me the secrets of your people. Please be all four. Three of the four. My goodness, Grizzbolt. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so cool. We got three of the four that we needed. Just keep doing what you two do best. And I'll keep working on you two. I just really need a female, perfect female strain. Not like that. That's not that's not the perfect female. So the first batch of eggs, I mean, we already got one out of it, but there's five here. And I would like to start breeding the Grizzbolts instead of this weird contraption here. So let's just see if we can find anything cool out of it. Come on. I mean, just two of this. Ooh, Ferocious and Musclehead. That's actually nice. I don't like having Coward in there, but I mean, I'm not going to say no. <gasps> There's three. That's fantastic. That's even better. All of that one needs is... What was the one that needed there? You're kidding me. The Lucky, Musclehead, Ferocious, Legend. In the fourth egg, <laughs> we got the Rizbolt. <laughs> we got him. 
Oh, that's cool. Now, if I can just find him in this cluttered mess, that's it. <laughs> that's the perfect one. 30% attack speed, 20% attack, 20% attack, and 15% attack. <laughs> we, need to, we need to unlock the, the Rizbolt's minigun. We also have to name him. Edit. We'll just get rid of the G and just name him Rizbolt. Now you, my friend, you're gonna be a permanent member of my squad. You know what else? We still have like three eggs. Wouldn't it be crazy if we got another one? Hold up. An entire squad of Rizzy boys? I'm so shocked that it was on my third or fourth one. Hot dang, please tell me I have enough technology. Grizzbolt's minigun. I have it unlocked. Why did it say it didn't have it unlocked? Maybe I don't have it. The actual world is happening here. Why do I not see it? Because I don't have four technology points. I see how this is. Maybe if I find some chests, I can find schematics and stuff. Or maybe zoom in through a dungeon to find the chests at the end that might have some parts in it for me. Hello, excuse me, sirs. Don't mind if I just come strolling through here. I would greatly encourage you not to attack because this thing is more powerful than you will ever be. Do you understand me right now, thug? You just killed two with one, really? I'm gonna hit you with an iceberg, you dingus. Have one of those. And would you like a power bomb too, you dork? Get wrecked. Be kind of funny to see whatever the boss is at the end of this level. Aw, celerays. Okay. Here, have one of these. Whoopsies. <laughs> I guess that did it. But I'm hoping we get things out of these chests. Attack pendants, I don't need those. Against my better judgment, I am not gonna comment on what's happening here. But the boy seems to be really enjoying charging up that electrical pole. Also, they've mined up six or 4,000, which is cool. What happens if I do a lava dungeon? Can I get more stuff in here? Oh boy, a syndicate crusher. Might actually be a little dangerous. Oh well. I'll just ignore him. That's what I do best. And then we get a level 40 fuddler who lit himself on fire. <laughs> what a dummy. What does this mean? Oh. Uh, I think it died. You have to clear it? Hmm. Nope, those aren't what I needed. But this dungeon has a Nightwing in it, and I want to see if Riz can take care of him. Wait, that's a Grizzbolt named Grizzbolt. That's not our Grizzbolt. <laughs> he still does the work, though. Oh, he's dying. Never mind. Yeah, he's not. What happened to Rizbolt? Oh, he's dead. You're being very annoying. Please stop. Thank you. There, that's a good shot. Well done, Paladus. I'll take care of it, though. Nope. And do these chests have the ancient tech manuals in them? Nope. And nope. Third dungeon. Oh, yeah, innovative tech manual Woo. times one. Oh, but that's a good one. Two tech points, that's exactly what I needed to get Grizzbolt's minigun. All right, so now we should be able to make the minigun, which is a legendary, kind of shocked with that. Yeah. But we'll have Queen Anubis take care of it. It'll mad last a couple of seconds. And there it is, beautiful. All right, Rizbolt, <laughs> let me see what you got. <laughs> oh, he's big and fluffy and he's hanging onto it like Spider-Man. I really feel sorrow for, sorry for this little crimis, but I mean, we got a minigun. Oh, that's so dirty. That actually does a lot of damage. Wow, I am a little bit shocked. This big chonk is a little bit slow though. I'm hoping that the uh, dungeon right here is up and going. <laughs> Goodbye, little penguin. My goodness. Here, have a stone. You want one of these? Boop! <laughs> oh, the dungeon is ready. Let's have a blast in here. I almost feel bad about this. Level seven celeres. <laughs> Whatever. Unleash the minigun! <laughs> this is so good. Oh, this game gets better and better every time I play it. Why is it like this? Oh no, I ran out of that. Have some sparks in your life. That didn't do very much. I was thinking that was gonna be cooler. And get wrecked. <laughs> do this one again. I want that one. Fine, do this one again. Yeah, this boy, he's only a level one. So he is highly effective. Yeah, we just get right in your face. We can do this all day. Wow. All right, that was kind of cool. <laughs> do it again. It'll be funnier the next time. And one more time. And then boop. <laughs> Give me your loot. Problem is he is stupidly slow. I mean, you can expect that for being a guy named Rizbolt. Thankfully, we do have our paladins, so we can blast through these dungeons really quick and get lots of fun things. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video of Power World. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Tell me what we should breed next. 
So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. Bye. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Rit the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarna, Maxer, Ralph, BC Engineers, Cars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.